It's going to be a long night. We're, we're all here for each other. So if you have any questions, you need our help, we're going to try to help you and help the drivers as much as we can. It'll be a great opportunity to show what Lexus can do. Like Jim said, finishing is number one priority. Finishing well will be great. And uh, everybody pulling together, making it happen, will be great. TMS さんあのトヨタモーターセールスさんのご希望でレースに参加したいということだったんですけれども我々としても24時間の長時間とにかく耐久25時間ですね耐久性を連続で見てみたいということがありましたのでまあそれでこの車を持ち込んだという形です。Actually made more progress than I expected up the field, so we're sitting in a good spot. And at this point, it's just continue to click off those types of laps without taking risk, and uh, you know, hopefully be there at the end. All the drivers we have on this crew, I have an utmost faith in. They have a lot of experience in endurance racing and sports car racing, so as well as this event in particular. Uh, that being said, I think we'll be in really good shape. We're in good hands. I know the car's in good hands, so we'll just uh, keep the trucking along. It's uh, great to be back. Great to be back in this uh, Lexus ISF. It's a fantastic car, and I think it's a really, really good weapon for this event uh, because it's reliable, it's consistent, and uh, we'll just keep pounding laps and survive the 25. At a little past hour, 11 and a half, on the way towards 12 hours of racing, our lead driver noticed a little vibration in the right side of the ISF. And about a lap or two later, he also reported noticing a smell of hot grease in the cabin. Here's what the issue was. These are called a drive axle or a half axle. The vibration that Jeff felt, the smell he smelled, came from the inner joints. This should be filled with a very thick grease but it's been overheated, and as the grease overheated, it came out and we see a liquid. That's the smell that Jeff smelled, but the vibration he felt before that was because that grease was not adequately able to lubricate the bearings in the CV joint anymore, and that means the bearings were starting to fail in this joint. They replaced the one half axle, and they preventatively also replaced the other half axle just in case. The technicians got both half axles replaced, Jeff is back out on the track now, so the ISF CCSR running very, very well at about the halfway point of the 25 hours of Thunder Hill. Ultimately, we came out of the pit lane in 25th overall. Just started, you know, put the head down and click off the laps and go, go, go. And I think we're back up to 11th right now, so we're making steady progress. The car feels good. For as many hours as we have on it, it's to be expected. Everything's, you know, rolling fine. So we'll just keep up the momentum and uh, keep trucking forward. I think a lot of the challenges are, you know, sometimes you come into corners and someone's gone off and there's a lot of dirt or debris and you don't get that visual opportunity to see it before you get there. You sort of see it as you're in it. And uh, so sometimes it can make for exciting corners that you didn't know were going to be exciting or plan to be exciting. During the sun up phase though, what ends up happening, a lot of the drivers, they get into this new sense of energy. And so passing on sun up makes it is a little bit more difficult than when, the, when it's pitch blackout. One person ended up running into the side of my car and uh, Luckily, it was just some duct tape and some uh, zip ties to fix it, and it's out there carrying on still, so all's good.
レクサスファンの皆様この CCSR はエンジンもミッションもノーマルのままで、えー、かあのボディの軽量化がメインで改造してますあのー、車のエンジンの耐久性パワーサーキットで楽しく使えるというところがあのー、皆さんにもこれで分かっていただけたと思いますので、えー、ISF あと F スポーツ、えーその車を皆さんにいろいろ乗っていただいて楽しんでいただきたいと思います。Uh, the car ran all day and all night. We finished fourth in our class, which is the fastest class here. We finished fifth overall out of 87 entries.、Uh, the ISF CCSR finished in fifth place.、Uh, we did a total of almost over 1,900 miles of driving. Uh, 670 laps to finish this race, so it's just a, a great effort. So I'm really proud of this crew that stayed up all night, and most of them are Lexus technicians that work at Lexus dealerships uh, throughout uh, Northern and Southern California. It's just amazing what a great job they did, just coming together for the first time at this event, which is which is really a grinding and.、Um, Grueling 25 hours, and we're we're really proud, and just I, I really can't thank those guys enough.